What's up guys, Enchanted Reeves here and in today's episode I'm bringing you guys an update of the 10 gallon I am Nuvo Aquarium. I've been gone for a few days so I kind of neglected and left this aquarium just to be on its own. So it's been growing a lot of algae as you can see here. There's just algae all over the aquarium, just growing over all the frags and everything. Uh, my boy, the little snail guy right there, is, is putting in work, but it's still too much for him. It's just growing like crazy. Um, what else? All of the frags that I've added are actually doing pretty good. As you can see there, the pink, pink, pink diamond zoanthids, they're doing great. What else? These small little star polyps, they're doing pretty good as well. Um, what other corals did I add? Let me see. I have a couple of utter chaos over here that are doing pretty good. And some small little unknowns. But if you notice that all of the frag pieces, they all have some kind of green hair algae on them. Whether it's a little small or just growing a little too much. They all kind of have a lot small piece on, of it growing everywhere, but yeah, for that I'm probably going to be using some reflux, just some kind of pill that you mix with water and then just drop it in there and then like in three to four days, it kind of starts to melt away and in about a week or so everything just kind of disappears. So when, if it gets too, too bad, I'm going to go ahead and just order some and just start using it. The only, oh, oh, another thing is that I started adding a lot of small mushroom frags here. Let's see here. So this is the first part of the mushroom frags that I added. And the other ones are over here. And these ones are high-end pieces. They're... A mixture of I believe it's OG bounce and there's a jawbreaker and a couple other ones I'm not really too sure what they were called but yeah it's in my small high-end mushroom frag aquarium as well so I'm gonna be using those to trade for other corals maybe sell them a little bit of profit we'll see what happens with those and yeah the tanks just been looking a little down right now but now that I'm back I'm gonna start paying a little more attention to it watching it a little more carefully making sure all of the parameters are good I know right now I'm pretty sure probably the nitrates nitrates are a little high just because of all of the algae growth and just yeah just taking over everything um let's see what else let's take a look at the small little compartments at the back here so right now the only things that i have in the back are a bunch of crushed coral i, I broke a, lot, a large piece into small pebbles just added them back there to create some beneficial bacteria and on this side, I have one of those, what are they called? Uh, let's see, one of these filter socks that, that I added some carbon and some other media in there. And at the top, I have this small cotton ball that's supposed to be grabbing all of the detritus, all that, all of the solid wastes. And yeah, it's... Um, as you can see it's probably not enough maybe that or I guess it just probably needed a water change so it's been about a week and a half since I last did a water change so it's due for one already so I'll probably be doing one tomorrow morning if not tomorrow in the afternoon once I get more RO water but yeah uh, what else so if you notice that the tank is still empty of fish, there's no real livestock of fish in there at the moment. I will be getting some hopefully soon. And I'm hoping to get a couple of designer clowns. 
uh, they're kind of pricey and right now I don't have the cash to drop on them so I'm hoping that my local fish store guy is willing to take maybe a couple of these one or maybe I'm hoping one but if I have two I'll give them two of these small OG mushroom frags and turn for a pair of designer clownfish I'm hoping he'd be willing to do that I know that he takes frags every once in a while but if he's been getting a lot of shipments he will not take any so I'll be going in and checking maybe this week if he's got a shipment I'll just have to wait maybe I'll try again in two weeks or so but yeah the tank is empty hoping to get the two oscillators clownfish and what else Mm, I'm, I'm, I'll probably end up getting another uh, another snail, maybe a turbo snail, to help with the algae control in this aquarium. I know right now there's a lot, so I could definitely use another another snail to help with that. Let me just turn off the water here, so we can get some top-down shots. Let's see. So yeah, this is a top-down view of the nano tank. Let's see. At the top we have the pink diamonds, outer chaos, a small little zoanthid in that small plug right there. I believe it's a bam bam, but I'm not sure. It's extremely small, so I can't really tell what it is. I also found this small little rock with a couple zoanthids. Wasn't too sure what they were, but now that they're opening up. They're turning a little blue, so hopefully they're a nice looking zoanthid. What else? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the, the update for today. It's been neglected, so now it's time for me to start paying a little more attention to the aquarium, making sure everything's where it should be, all the parameters, and yeah looking to get some livestock here soon hopefully sooner than later and i know a couple people were concerned about the glass maybe getting damage from the rock maybe pressing on the actual glass and adding some extra pressure but if you notice that i left just a small space between the rock and the glass and that's just for cleaning purposes as well so I can get between those, that surface there. Mm, that one looks like it might be touching, but. But yeah, hopefully it's not. Last time I cleaned it, everything was good, but maybe something moved around and is touching now. But if not, I'll just move it back to where it was, maybe glue it down with some super glue or something. But yeah, for this aquarium, as I said, I want it to be primarily zoanthids, maybe a couple mushrooms, high-end mushrooms. Right now, the 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 plugs at the bo very bottom, those are going to be moved out once I have a seller, a buyer, I mean. And once they grow out a little more, maybe I'll trade them in for some other high-end corals. The only mushrooms that I'm going to keep on this aquarium will be this small little bounce mushroom that's attached to the rock here it's already got its bubbles and everything and this other one over here it's a juggernaut bounce it's kind of hidden in the back let's see if i can focus in on it let's see where is it it's attached to that little white rock that you guys see there you can't really make it out because it's in the it's in the shadows but yeah it's back there so i'll be keeping those two mushrooms and everything else will be moved out once i am able to grow them out a little more and sell them and if i am able to sell them well i'll just buy more coral if not i'll just trade them for coral either way it's just going for more livestock and yeah that's pretty much it guys if you guys want to see something else besides uh Ocellaris in this aquarium let me know I didn't know what really to put in there it just 
I just read that Ocellaris were pretty good at small spaces since they do like to occupy one area of the aquarium. I figured that this small 10 nano gallon was more than enough space for a small pair. Um, but yeah, small update. If anybody knows any tips on how to clean up this other than just scraping it and doing water changes let me know maybe some something that i could put back here maybe i could take off this the the filter sock and the floss and all that stuff and replace it with one of those cartridges or something else maybe some carbon i don't know anything just let me know please i'll very much appreciate that uh, in the middle I have the heater and a bunch of rock but I could also move that as well if you guys have any other ideas and on the far right I just have my the pump the return pump so I can't really move that but yeah any tips any tricks anything any advice just let me know I'll try it out nothing too expensive maybe under 50 max but yeah just give me some ideas and if you guys want to see any other corals in this aquarium, also let me know any specific corals you want me to try. Maybe some. I want to keep keep it as zoanthids and maybe just softies. But if anybody wants to see maybe like an acro or something like that, some kind of SPS to see how it does in this nano aquarium, uh, let me know in the comments. Yeah, if there's enough interest, I'll go ahead and give it a try. Not sure how successful it'll be, but we'll we'll see. Uh, right now I only have the AI Prime on there so I'm not sure if that's enough light for the for SPS maybe eventually I'll switch it out for like a Radeon or something like that something with more intensity more power levels that could actually sustain those types of corals uh, what else but yeah just wanted to bring you guys a quick update i know i said a quick update now we're a little over 12 minutes but i just want to show you guys a little bit of everything what's going on throughout the whole tank maybe some ideas of what's to come but yeah that's what's going to come in the future i will add clownfish and i will start adding more zoas to to, to i guess cover this rock I'm really taking my time on getting zoas. I don't want to just put a bunch of random zoas that don't look too nice but grow fast. Because I know a lot of people tend to go for like Pandoras or some kind of pallies that just completely overrun the aquarium and don't really stand out as much with the colors like the, maybe the pink zoa, pink diamond zoas that grow slowly. But have some awesome colors maybe the utter chaos as well i like those types of pieces i know they're a little they're not really high end but they're a little above you know just any regular coral frag so yeah i'm looking to get maybe some aois i know there was a big rage going on for them where they were going over sometimes even over a hundred bucks a polyp but recently I've been seeing them go to 30, 40 bucks a polyp. So if I can snatch one for 30 or under, I'll definitely jump on it maybe. But yeah, there should be a coral frag shop swap here in town. I am from Albuquerque, New Mexico. So that should happen in March 14th, I believe. So I'll be definitely going to check that out. I'm hoping to become a vendor so I could just sell a bunch of corals I have in my main display, but we'll see. We'll see what happens from here on in. I'm hoping to get a bunch of frag plugs here soon. And if I'm able to fill them all up, I'll go. I'll definitely, definitely sign up to become a vendor. If not, well, I'll just, yeah, I'll just sell them on Facebook or something like that. Trade them for some other corals. But yeah, if anybody in Albuquerque, I guess, lives here, make sure to check out this, the frag swap. I'll definitely be there, whether it's to sell or just to go buy. Yeah, we can meet up afterwards to trade corals. If you guys have any other nice pieces and are willing to trade, I could definitely trade you guys one of these balanced mushrooms. I know they're kind of small, but 
the frag swap's a couple months away, so I'm sure that's more than enough time for them to go a little bigger and look nice. The only nice one that I actually have is that that one right there in the middle between the the rockscape. It's already got its nice bubbles growing very nicely. But yeah, I know this video took a little longer, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, share it with all your friends, and besides that, I will see you all next time. Peace.